If you've got behind with paying Scottish Power Energy bills in the past and never fully paid it off, then you might have received a letter or even a home visit from a Scottish Power debt collector. There are a few things that will rob you of sleep and push stress levels up, like a debt collector chasing you for money. Today we'll tackle this by looking at five of the most important things you need to know when dealing with Scottish Power debt collectors. Just to be clear, I don't give financial advice, I'm just making sure that you have access to the information you need to make informed decisions. So number one, are Scottish Power debt collectors legitimate? If you don't recognise the company name, then that's likely because Scottish Power have passed your case onto some hired debt collectors. I can confirm that Scottish Power is a UK registered company who regularly hire debt collectors to chase debts. Whilst there are a bunch of scams out there when it comes to debt collectors, I'm afraid this is unlikely to be a scam. However, you should never pay unless you are certain that the debt is yours. You're well within your rights to ask Scottish Power's debt collectors to provide proof that the debt is yours. So what happens if you ignore Scottish Power's debt collectors? Well, your problem could escalate and become very serious. Scottish Power debt collectors do have the right to take court action against you. If you were to ignore court letters, then you could end up with a county court judgment, which could have a major impact on your credit score and your chances of borrowing money in the future. If you do get a CCJ and still don't pay, then this could ultimately result in bailiffs coming to your home to take your valuable items, or even your car. There's a big difference between having a debt collector like a Scottish Power debt collector chasing you and having a bailiff coming to your home. I can't urge you enough that now is the time to take action on your debts while there's still options available to you. So please, please don't ignore Scottish Power's debt collectors and we'll get to what you can do instead later in the video. What are the rules that Scottish Power's debt collectors have to follow? Despite being legally appointed to collect your debt or outright owning your debt, there are several things that Scottish Power debt collectors cannot do when it comes to collecting debts. Knowing what Scottish Power debt collectors can and can't do will make you feel a lot more comfortable and confident when dealing with them. They're not allowed to visit you at your place of work unless you give them specific permission to do so. Before this rule was put in place, some debt collectors would show up when you're working and try to make things awkward for you as a way of pressurising you into paying. On a similar note, they're not allowed to speak to neighbours, friends or family about your debt. Again, this is to stop them trying to embarrass or shame you into paying your debt. Scottish Power debt collectors can't contact or visit your home at unreasonable times of day. For phone calls, most people would agree that calls before 8am are too early and calls after 9pm are too late, but your circumstances might be different. For example, if you work a night shift. If you can't take calls at certain times, then tell them. They should record this and avoid calling you at these times. By the way, for home visits, the regulations say that debt collectors need to clearly explain the purpose and the intended outcome of the proposed visit and give you adequate notice of the date and the likely time of the visit. You're well within your rights to complain if they keep calling or keep visiting your home at times that you told them to avoid. Next, it's also good to know that they're not allowed to act in a threatening or an intimidating way. Also, they should never pressurise you into paying larger instalments than you can afford or hitting payment deadlines that are just impossible. The regulations say that they're not allowed to pressurise you into selling your home or to take out more credit to pay back your debt. Also good to know, Scottish Power debt collectors can't pretend to be bailiffs or enforcement agents. Unlike bailiffs, debt collectors can't force their way into your house and they can't refuse to leave when you ask them to. And they're certainly not allowed to take any of your possessions or to clamp your car. Okay, so how long can you be chased for debt? Well, under the UK's Limitation Act of 1980, a creditor has six years to chase most unsecured unpaid debt or 12 years for some mortgage debts. This limitation period starts from the time of your last payment or when you last acknowledged the debt. Ultimately, debt collectors cannot enforce their debts through the courts after six years but if you've already been taken to court and have a CCJ registered against you, then there's no end date for how long you can be chased. So if Scottish Power debt collectors are chasing an old debt of yours and you haven't received a CCJ or made a payment for over six years, then you might want to check if the limitation period applies to you. How do I pay less and come to an agreement with Scottish Power debt collectors? Well, there are a number of ways that you might be able to reduce the amount you pay. If Scottish Power debt collectors are adding interest and charges to your debt, then you could ask to freeze them to help you get back on track and clear your debts quicker. Debt collectors are more likely to stop or reduce interest and charges if 
you can prove that you're in financial difficulties. Maybe you could put together a budget that shows your income and your essential living costs so that you can clearly demonstrate your position. You can also use that same budget to negotiate reduced payments. Again, for this, you need to show why you can't afford higher repayments. So make sure that you're clearly showing your income and essential living costs so you can demonstrate what you can afford. Sometimes debt collectors will agree to a reduced payment, but only for a short period of time. And at the end of this payment, then they'll want an update on your situation. Other times they will agree to a much longer repayment time. It will depend on the nature of your debt and your individual circumstances. If you have the cash, you could make a final settlement offer. This is where you ask if they'll let you pay a lump sum instead of the full balance that you owe on the debt. In return for having a lump sum, some debt collectors will agree to write off the rest of the debt. These aren't the only options that are available in the UK. There's actually a bunch more. Some are free to use and others include fees and each of them will have their own pros and cons. If you want to learn more about the debt solutions I mentioned, or you want to find out about other debt solutions available in the UK, then we've created a really great form that I'd recommend you check out. Click the link in the description to get started and answer a few multiple choice questions like the total amount of your debt, how many people you owe, your living situation and a few others, and we'll connect you with one of our trusted partners so you can find out more and take steps towards improving your financial situation.